Hey, this is Dave from Gravity Wiz. Today, I am incredibly excited to give you a crash course on our latest product, Gravity Shop Product Configurator. Product Configurator offers customizable WooCommerce products powered by Gravity Forms. I think it is best understood through example, so let's explore. First, we have a form that I've already created. On this form, it is going to give us a variety of options to customize our wand. So for example, the wood of the wand, the type of core the wand has, whether or not they want a wand case, and an engraving if they would like to engrave their case. Lastly, it shows a total, so it has a sum of all of the options that they've added, and we'll ignore this field for now. Moving on to the actual WooCommerce product. So now that we have our form, we want to connect it to the WooCommerce product. So we're gonna to go to the product. We're gonna to go to Gravity Forms. We're gonna to go to the form option here and we're gonna select Want Options. We're gonna go ahead and update the product so that way we can add, we can start to configure this. And up at the top here, you'll see there's a handy little feature where we can just jump right to the feed. So now that we're on the feed, we can see all of these options that we can customize exactly how this form will interact with that product. For the sake of this demo, we're going to ignore all of this and just jump into how this works by default. So let's jump back to the product. We are going to click on it to view it on the front end. Now that we see it on the front end, you can see that the gravity form is embedded directly on the product page. It has the regular price of the product showing up top here. And as we select options, you're gonna see that the total updates automatically. So we'll do a vine wood wand with a unicorn hair, and we will opt in for the premium wand case, and we'll put a little engraving on there. Dave's one. So you can see we have a nice total here that updated throughout and we will add to cart. And now we will go to view the cart and you can see how all of our options are now displayed that we've selected on the cart item. Okay, so we've added our first item to the cart. Let's take a quick break from the checkout flow and explore how we can customize what appears in the cart. So we're gonna hop back over to the product we're going to scroll down to the Gravity Forms tab and we're going to click Open Product Configurator Settings. Over here, we're going to scroll down to the Item Meta Display and you'll see that by default, it is set to include all fields. So all form fields will be included. There's also options to include all fields with exceptions or exclude all fields with exceptions, depending on what you need. For now, let's explore the custom template where we're going to take complete control over this and we're going to say, hey, You've selected wand wood with a whatever the core value is core. So those will be replaced with the selected values. And let's go scroll down, click save settings. And then we go over here and refresh the cart. You're going to see that it tells us exactly what we've selected vine with a unicorn hair core. Just a nice way to customize the cart item display and give them just the essential information. Now we're ready to proceed to checkout. All right, so we have a pretty basic checkout here. I'm gonna use cash on delivery just to expedite this checkout process. Let's place this order. And you'll see that we have our item correctly in the order details. And if we go over to the order in the admin, you'll see that the order details are correctly carried over there as well. Additionally, if we click on this handy view gravity forms entry link, it'll take us directly to the entry that represents that order item it has all of the details there, including our engraving. And you'll also notice that the payment details are synced up with the WooCommerce order, including the transaction ID, which represents the order ID in WooCommerce. Now, if you're coming to this from the Gravity Forms side of things, then it will be very helpful to know if an entry belongs to a WooCommerce order. And so we have this helper notice at the top here, and you can see which order it belongs to, and you can click on that link to go right back to that order. So I think that's done a great job of showing how easy it is to get started with Product Configurator and how it works on a basic level, but there's so much more that this plugin can do. I'm gonna give you a quick highlight reel, uh, but expect future videos where we'll go into these features in more depth. 
First up, let's take a look at the display price. So with the display price, it will show the regular product price or the sales price, depending on whether or not the product is on sale. But since the options on your form will likely impact the price of your product, it can be useful to show a custom price here that accounts for those options. In this case, we're gonna actually show a range because there is a range depending on the selections that they make. On the front end, that will look something like this. Moving on, let's take a look at the form to product map. This setting allows you to map form fields to WooCommerce product properties, such as the weight, any of the dimensions, length, width, and height. This is super useful when you are doing dynamic shipping based on these factors, uh, typically powered by a third-party plugin. Lastly, there is the ability to do a product image and map that to a file upload field on the form. This will show up in the cart item and the order description. Uh, it's just a nice touch to show the user which file they've uploaded. Lastly, there is the product structured data. This is a great way to ensure that your product structured data is accurate and matches up again with the options on the form. And additionally, uh, this is reflected in search results and also social media embeds. All right. And one other thing I wanted to touch on is conditional logic, which is super awesome. So let's just say that we only wanted to allow engravings if they order more than one item. So you can see here that it actually automatically pulls in a variety of details from the WooCommerce products. So all product variations are available uh, as well as the WooCommerce quantity. So in this case, we're gonna select the quantity here and we're gonna say, hey, wherever the quantity is greater than one, they can get this free engraving. Otherwise, it just won't show up. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, we're super happy to help. And again, expect more videos showing more of the features and the ways that this can even work with Gravity Perks coming soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.